Hi friends, welcome to Kiddo Kids. And after a long time back, I'm coming again back because all must be having exams. Um, so it's exam continuing for me. That's why. No problem. I'll be with you for one, next one hour. And you all must have finished your lunch, taken a nap, and now in front of TV. Today, even I also prepared a science topic to discuss with you guys. And before that, let me tell you the quote quote for the day. So, some of you must be afraid of shadows, right? Yes. Never fear shadows. Uh, this means that there is some uh, somewhere light passing. That's why uh, this shadow comes. So never fear, okay? They are just simply they will not do as anything. So anyway, we'll go on to our topic, and today I'm going to discuss with you about sense organs. From first standard till I think so every classes you may learn about sense organs, right? Yes. Um, how many sense organs are there? Usually there are not usually there are five sense organs. What are they? Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. The largest sense sense organ is the skin. We need this all five sense organs to live. If any of them get any problem or damage. We, we may get severe infection, suffocations, some problems will be there. So today I am going to discuss with you how to care these sense organs and what are the uses of these sense organs and how are they working. Okay. So first main sense organ, everything is main but the most main is the eye. How do I, how, eyes, how it helps us? Eyes helps us to see. That is the uh, main thing. I helps us to see. Only it helps us to see there are some processes that we see uh, which takes up in a very few few seconds. Like when uh, if you see your friend's eye, you may see a black and a white color. You may tell it's an eye. But what are the two parts? The white color it's a clean white shield. It's called cornea. C O R N E A spelling must be some of them must get confused. Okay, that's the spelling of cornea. The clean white shield is called cornea. The black thing which you see is called the iris. In the iris there is very minute hole which is called pupil. Through the um, when if I am seeing a television, I'll be putting switch on. Uh, I'll switch on the lights. These lights pass through the cornea. And they directly pass through this uh, pupil, through that hole. This pu uh, pupil changes, uh, um, behind the pupil there is a thin or an oval shaped um, thing called lens. Um, this uh, lens, um, this sorry, this pupil controls the shape of the lens. Okay. So, uh, lens can, from this we can understand that lens can change its shape. Even um, pupil cannot do by its own. We tell that bones cannot move by their own. No, they move with the help of their muscles. Like that. Even for the eyes, there, there is one uh, muscle. Can you tell what's it? Yes, it's the ciliary muscles. Um, cil um, in a bone, single bone, there must be different type of muscles. But in the eye, there is only one type of muscle. So, in the small we can say that um, the and before explaining in briefly can we go for a caller? Yes. Hello. Yeah, I think so the caller has dropped off. Anyway, you call me next time. We will come back to our topic and briefly we will say that this white shield is clean white shield is called cornea. The black one is called this iris. Iris is having a minute hole called the pupil. When the light enters, this uh, pupil controls the size of the lens. Behind the lens, there is a dark chamber called retina. That I didn't told you. Sorry, retina. And before discussing more, can we go for a caller? Yes. Hello. I think so. The caller has dropped off. Most of them. Because they may having exams, they must be so much busy. No problem, you can call me next time. We will come back to a topic. And yeah, retina, it is a dark, not very dark, 
it's a dark red in color. Uh, behind this retina there is an optic nerve. This optic nerve is, uh, sends all what uh, this if this optic nerve gets any damage um, there will be so many problems to your eyes. Sometimes it can you cannot even see. So that much minor nerve and it is so sen um, what yeah we need to care it too much. Okay, this optic nerve send the messages to the brain. Okay. Um, so there, how many parts are there for the eye? There is cornea, there is uh, yeah iris. In the iris, there is a small uh, hole called the pupil. Pupil controls the size of the lens. Behind the lens, there is retina, and behind the retina, there is yeah. What is it? Yes, it is the optic nerve. So now you know what all are the parts in your eye. Okay. Now I will tell you how to protect your eyes. Uh, you all must be knowing how to protect your eyes, no? Then also I will tell you. Always you, may, you must be not remembering, no? so I will tell you. Yeah, um, to, um, to protect your eyes, you need to wash and clean your eyes regularly with cold and clean water. The water should not be dirty. Okay? Um, this, yeah, do not work in a bright light or to, uh, bright light means it should be not too bright and when you are working it should be not dim light also. So, do not work in a bright light or dim light. Then sit, um, yeah, never rub your hands with a dirty hands or dirty towel. Means you played outside and came back. Always wash your hands wherever whatever things you touch, please wash your hands. So, that you may, you can re uh, remain clean and yeah, uh, your eyes will, uh, after some time, if your eyes itches, you may use this hand to itch your eyes. This dirt get inside the eyes. Okay, so that's why I'm telling you always, whenever you are touching, or from the school you came back, uh, you, without washing your hands, you are eating the food. This germs will get into the food, and we are eating this food. It will make problems to our stomach and the digestion and all. So many problems will happen. So always clean your hands wherever you touch or wherever you go as a regular hobby you just clean your hands the second type of sense organ is the ears ears there are three main part for the ears first one is the uh, outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear um, yeah now the outer ear outer ear acts like a cup okay uh, in, in the outer ear there is a long deep canal um, this is called the ear canal through this the sound waves and the air passes through so now we can tell that the outer ear catches the sound waves uh, which uh, which goes nearby and it also catches the air which goes by okay now we'll go on to our middle ear in the middle ear is the ear drum uh, not only the ear drum there are so many things like semicircular canals then yeah there are so many other things uh, which we don't know also then if the sound gets uh, just beats into the eardrum this eardrum vibrates and this sound passes through some there are some processing and there is an uh, nerve like an optic nerve even for the ears also there is a nerve this uh, message goes to the spinal cord or the brain and the immediate action will happen means yeah uh, if your friend talks to you, how can you hear through this processing only? This outer ear catches the sound waves and the air and it uh, beats the eardrum. Eardrum vibrates and process all this and the optic nerve takes these messages to the brain or the spinal cord. Okay, So, now you know how the ears are working. Yeah. Now, you need to protect these ears also, no? Other than eyes, everything we need to protect, okay? So, now I will tell you how to protect your ears. Ear, um, yeah, uh, when you are having an earache, it must be, if it is too much painful, you may go to a doctor. Uh, if any small insect or a small object gets in your ear and you cannot take it out, immediately, the next second, you need to call a doctor because uh, after some time some problems will happen and and, all. and when you bath 
water gets inside the ears you need to take a dry towel and clean your ears okay always clean your ears with a bud never try to clean your uh, ears with matchstick hairpin or toothpick uh, earbuds only you need to use don't use this time because it may cause injury to the eardrum and it may cause infection to the ears okay so now you understood how to take care of your ears right now yes so the next type of sense organ is the ears sorry uh, the nose yes only we told now uh, already confusing yeah uh, nose uh, if your mother uh, you all must be um, um okay you all must be liking a favorite thing all of them must be having a favorite thing no even for me i like some type of toys or some type of clay or some type of dishes so many things a person likes okay, so now i like just imagine there is a fish curry i like a fish curry this fish curry how are we recognizing this uh, smell can you tell how is it if you don't know i'll tell you okay this when the fish curry is made uh, anything uh, it gives out tiny particles of gases this gases mix up with the air which is about that dish and this mixes with the air and becomes a chemical reaction when we smell it this um, yeah there are some nozzles in our nose okay this um, air gets into our nose and hits at the nerve cells these nerve cells recognize the order and send the messages to the brain or the spinal cord yeah so how do you recognize an order anything that gives off an order it gives out even tiny ga part uh, particles of gases these gases mix up with the air when we smell this air the um, the uh, gases will hit at our nerve cells and this nerve cells send the messages to the brain or the spinal cord so now you know how our nose is working right no yes even you need to care your nose also right yes <coughs> excuse me yeah if a small object as like ears even if a small object gets into your nose uh, um, uh, do, uh, do not try to remove by your uh, hands and all yeah how i told you is that it must be dirty so call a doctor immediately okay and get it removed and do not try to clean your nose with your fingers it's a dirtiest habit don't even like that not only me others also don't even like that because our hands must be dirty even if we clean also when we put this nose into our nose and all ugh, it's like a very big bad habit okay so it's a bad habit too and do not try to clean like that blow gently means take deep breath in and deep breath out and this blog nose will be till go by its own okay so this is how you keep your nose clean and safely and if there is any blog if you are having any blog nose uh, take an inhaler or inhale steam um, this makes it that uh, things to go off in the nose there are even there are some things called the nostril the receptors and the nasal cavity these are the three main parts of the nose okay the receptors last time when i and uh, came to the show i told you about the pain receptors yeah yes told you about the pain receptors pain receptors are found in all over our body and they recognize what type of pain or what type of thing we are going to do okay so yeah when we take the breath this air directly goes to the receptors in the receptors only we are having these nerves okay yeah so now you know uh, what all type of parts are there in your eyes how they work and how to um, sorry how to clean it or how to make it safe the next thing is the ears ears you know what are the main parts of ears how do they work and uh, how to care it now you know uh, the nose um and the three parts of nose the receptors of nose 
then then how will smell and order and how to carry your nose the next the fourth type of sense organ is your tongue where is tongue present tongue is present inside our mouth okay uh, right uh, our tongue is having different types of receptors like sweet salt bitter then uh, sour then uh, but the main type of this are sweet salt bitter and all okay these help us to know what type of taste is it how i told you like yeah in the nose how we will smell and order even nose and tongue they are having connections between without the nose um, tongue cannot work if the block nose is there tongue cannot work if any uh, injury is there for the tongue nose cannot work properly okay okay the tongue is uh, having not only these receptors uh, the tongue is having even more type of receptors like uh, heat cold pain and texture texture is the main kind if there is um, yeah like, like i told you fish curry you tasted it as usual you didn't feel that type of taste why didn't you feel like that that's my question can you tell me the answer if you don't know i'll tell you means told you that this uh, nose and this tongue are connected together right now i'll tell you how they are connected okay yeah this yeah this information when you uh, yeah smell it this um sorry this air uh, hits into your nerve cells right this uh, directly goes to this give the messages to the tongue so when you taste a food um if you may not feel good that means that there is something problem to your nose so my question is this when common cold attacks your nose um why don't we feel this food so much tasty because the information comes through your nose um is um is taken by the tongue so when you taste a food um when or when you smell it the food before eating it seems good or it seems very beautiful or it, or it seems very much tasty and if you are having a block nose and smelling it you cannot even smell it properly you know so you may not feel that food also that much tasty it must be tasty to others but who are having block nose they must be not feeling so much good yeah okay now how to carry your tongue uh tongue always clean your tongue with a tongue cleaner and yeah clean your tongue with a clean and fresh water okay the clean and fresh water now you know the four type of sense organs which are eyes ears nose tongue tongue help us to taste nose help us to smell ears help us to hear and eyes help us to see now i hope that all of you know how to yeah what are the main parts uh, how they work and how to carry it right yes okay the largest sense organ in our body is skin now how to take care of it so today i'll be telling you uh, yeah how do this sweat come and how can we protect our skin Okay, yeah. Uh, the the uh, the five sense uh, I told that even nerves are having some sensations. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, all are having some sensations. Like that, there are uh, five sensations for this hair also. Not hair, skin. Even uh, in the skin itself, the hair is there, no? So we can tell hair or skin. Yeah. Uh, the main type of uh, the sensations are touch, heat, or cold. pressure pain and tickling okay uh, means there are some processes in our body that we drink water no some of them uh, goes as urine and some of them comes out of our body through the uh, hair when we go out for jogging and all we may sweat very well this is not a, a sweat but it's actually the waste water which comes from our body can not uh, when you think the waste is like not that type of waste means the used water it's not having any type of smell or anything so used water by the body 
Oh no, color, um, color, it is salty in taste. Like when we cry, no? Our um, tears must be like in the salty one. Yeah? So, uh, these type of things are used by our body. Okay? Now, how to carry your skin? is like this. Always wear clean clothes and yeah, uh, which should be loose enough uh, for free air circulation and always bath regularly. Okay. So, now you know the five type of senses which is the eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. And before discussing it clearly, can we go for the rhymes? Yes. So, here we go for the rhyme. 